Oh my goodness. All this fuss about the S9. <clears throat> so we've got content creators who are now coming out to say that other content creators and reviewers are just shills because they've said it's a wonderful camera. Because they got a free trip to Tokyo. Um, Kyoto, was it? Kyoto, I think. Uh, and got to play with the camera for a few hours. Others are saying, what's the big deal? It'll suit some people, not others. And then people, and me included, are jumping on the bandwagon of talking about the S9 because it will get some views. So what do you think? I would like to know in your comment, in the comments, let me know. Do you think the S9 is as big a fiasco as some people are saying? Is this whole paid review kind of content reviewers, uh, YouTube reviewers are shills, justified? I mean, surely most people know if you've been sent something, you're probably going to keep, you know, friendly with the people who've sent you, the company, so you get more of the same in the future. And some of the people complaining have been getting plenty of freebies for a long time. Now, there are lots of genuine reviewers. Um, I certainly try to be as honest as I can when I get something. If it's great, I will say so, but that will be a personal opinion. If it's lousy, I'll say so, but that again is a personal opinion. You see, that's the thing. If you say it's negative and not good because of this, this, this and this, it's just still your opinion, right? So you could say that the S9 is the lousiest camera you've ever seen. Uh, it's not particularly great. The F8 manual focus 26mm lens is stupid. Uh, the IBIS is no good. All that kind of a thing. Sure, but for some people, it may be a suitable camera. For others, it won't. You can say this about any single camera. So there's massive hype at the moment that the S9 and Panasonic, uh, Panasonic have made massive mistakes in releasing it with all the hype that they have. But if there's no hype about a camera, people will complain, and <laughs> we've seen that before. If you look at DP Review, the kind of things people complain about, oh, you know, what a lackluster announcement. Uh, they're not announcing anything, no details. Then when a manufacturer goes and gives you plenty of information and throws a big bash and invites people there, that's complained about as well. And in some cases, it may be jealousy that you're not getting invited. I'd love to be invited. If uh, anybody wants to invite me to a press junket, I'll fly out and, you know, have a look. And then I'll say what I think. Um, because when you look at a camera and review it, and I've got various reviews on this channel and more to come, they're always one person's opinion. No matter what they're saying, whether it's negative or positive, it's their opinion. Now, from what I've seen of the S9, personally, on the specs, I haven't seen one in real life, haven't touched one, not going to buy one. I think it's a nice-looking camera. Um, I think the specs are okay. The fact that there's no electronic viewfinder... <laughs> I'm filming right now on the Canon M100. That has no electronic viewfinder. I've got a Canon M6. It has no viewfinder. I've got a Ricoh GR3. No viewfinder. They suit me. I've also got cameras with viewfinders. And I gotta be <laughs> I've got to be honest. I find a lot of the time I don't use the viewfinder. So the lack of one in my particular case isn't a big deal. Might be for you, right? So when you're watching these rants about S9, Panasonic hype and reviewers and all that kind of thing, just bear in mind everybody's giving you their opinion. And the only way for you to know for sure yourself about the camera is if you go to your local camera store, have a look at it, handle it, see if it suits what you need. It might. It might not, but the specs on paper alone can't tell you everything. If you look at some of the cameras, um, I've talked about a few, Ricoh, the Canon, the two Canons there, which have no viewfinders, and yeah, you can get a little clip on one for the M6, um, but it doesn't have one built in. So what? You know, it hasn't stopped me using them and enjoying them, but I know there are people who wouldn't even consider them. So you kind of got to make up your own mind. And reviews are only as good as the information in them. The opinions of how good the item is are always the opinions of the reviewer. They may not reflect your personal usage, your real life situation, your own needs. Another example, don't do wildlife, don't do sport. So small lenses, prime lenses, 28 mils, 35 mils, that kind of a thing. They're very good for me. That means the gear I have is no use to the average wildlife photographer.
the average sports photographer. They need something very different. Very different indeed. Long lenses, fast lenses, electronic viewfinder, maybe good stabilisation or a really heavy tripod, that kind of a thing. So next time you're listening to good or bad about the S9, just ask yourself, is that opinion the same as I would have? The same as you would have? Let people make their own uh, decisions, I think, is what I'm saying. Um, people will give you facts, they'll give you opinions, they'll give you ideas, they'll give you impressions. But ultimately, the camera that suits you is the one that suits you, even if everybody else in the world hates it. OK, well, that's my little rant over. I would love to hear from you what you think about this whole thing. Is it a fiasco? Will Panasonic regret it? Is the uh, S9 lousy? Is it good? Is it OK? You tell me. Choose and go with what suits you. Peace out.